Alright, let's do this. The second day of the Culture Festival at a classroom before the contest begins. Bring out your dad! Hey, why is Teddy here? Is Teddy entering? Because I think he'll win if that's the case. He's definitely the most womanly. Why are you guys just standing there? C come on, hurry up and sit down. Fine, fine. Come on, kanji -kun, over here! <laughs> Uh, I make fun, but this is kind of funny. But it's... I, I feel the awkwardness. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Wait a second. Is Chie the one working on Yosuke? In which case, that's going to be pretty cool. Oh, she's going to deliberately mess up. The cross dressing pageant will begin soon. It looks like you'll have to give up and let Yukiko... Okay. Well, at least Yukiko's genuinely kind of sort of good. What about me? Yep, that's what I thought. It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. Whatever that means, it can't be good. He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last-minute contestant. Yeah, sure, why not? He's gonna win. So you're making him suffer too. I can tell you right now. Seriously, he could pass off a woman as is. Put him in a dress and no one will even know. Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Tukun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. <laughs> Me. You're the only one left. The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable. Calling it in and out. They're gonna win. Well then, um. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. First, I need some dazzling makeup. Are you trying to say you're not wearing any right now? You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. And then we never saw Naoto again. <laughs> Wait, the battle begins by choosing the right equipment. Ooh, we gotta use fake eyelashes, right? Uh, yeah, bring it on. Anything that gets this over with. Oh my god, this is something somebody actually wrote and put into their game. Aren't we supposed to be catching a murderer? Why is this a thing? <laughs> so it begins. Stop having a face! Ladies and gentlemen! I have a pink afro for some reason! We now begin the second day of the culture festival with the ever popular Miss Yasugami pageant! Let's get right down to it! And introduce our first contestant. This dude is way too into it. She's a runaway express train who's in a born and bred and can kill with both her fists and her looks. It's Kanji. Presenting Kanji Chan of the first year class three. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you even get that wig? He just straight up walks out like yo. Sup? <laughs> Ew, that's so creepy. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is wrong on every level. You have no one to blame but yourselves for this. Now, don't rip me apart for asking, but what would you say is your best feature? My eyes. <laughs> He's so honest. Well, a conventional answer from this all too unconventional beauty. Well, if I'm being honest, he certainly outpaces Marilyn Monroe by a couple hundred yards, so that's good. After such a strong start. I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant. And here comes Yosuke. An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness. She's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. Not inaccurate. Presenting Yosuke Chan of the second year class two. Let's see if Chie is any good at what she does. Oh, not it. Nope, definitely not. Damn it, Yosuke. Holy crap! <laughs> and here I 
thought Yosuke Senpai would be able to pull it off. Apparently not. Dude, it's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. You ride too many trains. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. <sighs> Do you often dress like this? Yosuke, don't be stupid. Hell no! Thank you! Uh, <clears throat> like, no way! You ain't gonna win yourself any bonus points with that, buddy! What is with this? The laughing stocks up here. What were you expecting was gonna happen? What did you think this was about? Yeah, okay, thank you. I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come. Up next, our third contestant. I'm guessing that's gonna be me. She has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. Hey, theoretically, I've only made three girls cry, and if so, they've hidden it very well. Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in the second year, Glass. And we're not actually going to say his name because there's no way we can pull that noise off. Yo, check me out. Am I holding a kendo stick? Where the hell did I get a kendo stick? Senpai, why are you doing this? Reasons. Whoa, I thought he was cooler than that. You thought horribly wrong. <laughs> Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? Uh, damn straight! My friends forced me. Eh. Well, I don't think Naoto actually had a, a hand in any of this, but yeah, let's roll with it. <laughs> hey, now's not the time to reveal stuff like that. Too late, already did. Damn that Kashiwagi. And our fourth contestant and obvious winner. Dare she tear away our innocence like this? Now I'm scarred for life, damn it! Were you not before? Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Hey, look, listen. I, c I am clearly first place right now, okay? If Teddy weren't here, I would win. Don't you even try and say Call otherwise. King of the TV world. She's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy Chan. You know, not nearly enough bad things happen to Teddy. And yep, it just looks like a straight-up woman. Like, didn't even have to try. Do have to wonder where all these wigs came from, though. Give me your hearts. Yep, that's creepy on a lot of levels. God! Make it end! The votes have been collected, and it's a resounding obvious winner. And the winner of this year's Miss Yasugami pageant is... Seriously, where'd I get this kendo stick? The random contestant who won everyone's heart, Miss Teddy! Oh, like that was even remotely surprising. As our champion, Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasugami pageant with actual beauties this time. Depends on who's entering, man. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. If I'm correct, I think Snorlax entered, so that alone's probably going to mess you up. An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you got to go through. Teddy seems happy. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy too. Yeah, well, you're not going to be happy for very long. You're up next. Yeah, he's like over the top innocent. Okay, some they're building it up. Something's going to happen. How does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> The long-awaited day has finally come. Here it comes. He's going to do something. I don't know what, though. I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! And now they all really, really hate him.
Boom, boom, boom. It's like a triple karma buffet. Uh, I didn't bring a swimsuit. <laughs> that bear needs to be disappeared. Oh, 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 now you regret your decision. Because it made your life worse. Well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. <laughs> Look at her face. And then... <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this is going. You still think you're gonna win this. You realize your personality is not that unlike of a salt-covered piece of sandpaper vigorously being scraped across somebody's back until blood has well and truly gone past it. Like, through the muscle fibers, right onto the friggin' bone, right? You know this, right? You know everybody in this school hates you, right? You're not that vain and stupid, right? You're not that completely blind to the world around you that you're a complete weirdo. And are kind of committing some kind of crime. I don't know which one yet, but I know it's something. Yep, there's Snorlax. I was right. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. And okay, once again, you're demonstrating another reason why you would not actually be a teacher. <sighs> What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? Apparently. Man, she ain't even gonna get a single vote, I can tell you that much. Mr. Teddy dropped this off. Ain't no mister about him. I don't even know if he has a gender, actually. I mean, do we actually have any conclusive evidence to support that? I mean, his voice doesn't sound like anything significantly one way or the other. Maybe he's completely, you know, non-gendered. Anyway, yeah, there's your swimsuits, boy. Oh. Hey, we don't need them. Too bad you do. <laughs> My mature charms will win the day. Woman, your forehead is way too big. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. Apparently, you planned this out from the get-go. That's not creepy. I brought my own, too. Sweet Jesus, no, I'm never going to be able to unsee this. Well, what's with these people? They are nutcases! Hey, let's, let's not do this. Yeah, there you go. Easy. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. And suddenly... You call yourself an idol. But you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. Sweet. Can't believe I'm about to say this, but I freaking miss King Moron. What? And Risei is gonna bring out the A-game! There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> Are you two seriously so unbelievably brain dead that you think you even... Seriously, it's like... It's like the teacher lady took whatever forehead the Snorlax took, had, and added it to her own. Now she ain't got nothing, and he, she's got too much. Holy hell, man. What is this nonsense? Oh, and I suppose you think you're gonna take the crown? You little snoring pig. Meow. Snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. Woman, I can hear the fat in your mouth when you're talking. We went through hell because of you! No, that was really more- that was mostly Yosuke. Really, honestly. Oh, that's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Woman, a freaking pair of butter in a swimsuit could beat you. Let this be a warning to the others, too. My god. <laughs> You're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Good lord, you even laugh fat. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? You guys are so one-note villain, it's kind of weird seeing as how everyone else at least has a second dimension in this game. You're just evil for the sake of evil. Well, we did kind of run away last time. <laughs> it's true. That's what I'm saying. We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that. I gotta wonder why Naoto isn't slowly backing out of the room right now. How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. 
Right, Risei-chan? Naoto-kun? We won't run from this, right? You can still totally do it, Naoto! Run! Leave! Huh? Me too? Whoa! She has gone full feminine voice! So this is what she really sounds like all the way. Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? You're provoked as well, it seems. There's no way! <laughs> wow! It's like a... You're actually very good at hiding your voice. It's like a completely different person. Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. I'm supporting you this entire way. I'm sending my mental, my mental vibes. Run now, to run. You're not going anywhere. Wow, you made the worst decision in the world choosing to be our friends. All right, it's time for the third and final awkward shenanigans of the day. And then it will finally be over. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> you decide to watch the beauty pageant because you're kind of a moron. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in the Miss Yasugami pageant. Why are they already on the stage? The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? No, I cannot. Oh, wait, there they are. Okay, sorry. Your next contestant, Miss J. Satanaka of the second year's class two. Come on out, J. Hi, I'm J. Satanaka. Did you seriously change out of your school uniform? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, and if by that you mean you're loud and bombastic and you eat meat like a freaking wheat harvester, then uh, yeah, I guess that's true. That liar. It stinks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Up next, another contestant from class two, Miss Yukiko Amagi! Really kind of confused why they put on their casual clothes. Hello, my name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. As if we were unaware of this fact. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. Might as well use this as a case as a time for you know advertising. Why not? Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. And if there were ever a woman to work it good, it would be her. Rise don't give a damn! Hi, hi, my name's Rise Kujikawa. I haven't been in town very long, but it's a great place, and I'm 100% thrilled to be here. Yeah, she's definitely done this more than twice. She's not gonna win. I don't know what's gonna happen. Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane. Oh, you poor, poor soul. I'm sorry this is happening. Hey, Kanji, here she comes. Hey, shh. Hide down. <laughs> you poor soul. Whoa, she took off her hat. I, I'm Noto Shirogane. Oh my god. You can hear her dying in her words. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. Let it be known that I would have never done this voluntarily without a gun to my head. And there was one. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I I really don't know what to say. <laughs> can I step back now? <laughs> You poor, poor child. And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage. Some more beautiful than others. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. 
one of these things just doesn't belong. I mean, technically, two of them, but you know what I'm saying. Snorlax, get off the stage. Oh, yeah. Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. Or we could not have that happen. I am Teddy, the honorary judge for this pageant. Yeah, no duh. Please keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. Teddy, I swear, I don't know when, I don't know how, but you are so getting revenged. Like, you are going to end. Well, uh, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? No, she does not. Although she almost did. Have you ever smooched anyone before? My god, he just does not even care. Huh? Stop it! He's not gonna. Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? I'm guessing the lower stomach. Not that low, you weirdos. I, I beg your pardon? Crap, I just realized what that implied. Okay. I went weird to a weird I went into a weird direction. What kind of a question is that? A creepy one! And those two on the right aren't even bothered. Anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all! It's not a surprise if it's something everyone knows. Wait till you hear this! For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition! And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here! I really want something bad to happen to Teddy. I really do. put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. My god, this is wrong in so many ways. Calling it now, Naoto's not even gonna, no, like, I'm, she left. She just went home. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, sweet Jesus, why? Okay, covering that up with the microphone. Uh, hi. Hi, Chie. At least it's relatively modest. Ooh. Shut up, Yosuke. You sound like a dirty old man. Well, that's mostly because he kind of is. Chie Senpai is cute, though. Shut up. All y'all just need to stop with the word using. Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay, Yukiko. We've all been demeaned and demoralized today. You're just... What? This is great! This is just the next in a long line. Wow. Yukiko-senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. Why have you been imagining things? At least Risei won't be awkward about it. She don't give a damn. You here's Rosette! You know, for someone who's been mentally trying to repress the fact that she was ever Rosette, you sure are throwing it in people's faces a lot. Just throwing that out there. Gameplay and story segregation, what's that? Oh, well, this isn't fair. An idol has that glow to her that other girls don't have. Plus, she was really? practically manufactured to be the most physically attractive, pretty much. That's I assume that's probably the goal of both in-universe and out. And <laughs> Naoto has left! Miss Naoto? She's not coming out. You know, I bet she would wear a one-piece, though cover as much as humanly possible. Please tell me she just straight up left the building. Well, sad news, everyone, but Miss Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. Good on you. You finally stood your ground. Thank goodness. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Duh. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? Uh, no, um... Well, yeah. But don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? To be fair, I guess I gotta give her at least that much. Yeah, you're right. I honestly would have thought she would have just straight up left immediately. That's what I would have done. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Naoto. Ha! <laughs> the other two aren't even an option. Lovely. But yeah, no, nah, fun for Naoto. Huh? Is that allowed? It is now. I don't care. I don't give a damn! Thanks for waiting, everyone! The results are 
I've made my choice in life. Looking at the way the vote went, you guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. What do you want to bet neither of the two on the right ever even got a single vote? That'd be awesome. Lots of different opinions with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters. On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing. And so, there's a clear winner! There are women in the audience right now? Weird. Grand prize goes to... It's totally Naoto, isn't it? <laughs> she didn't even have to try! Didn't even have to try. She is literally no more androgynous than Chie or you or anybody. Looks just like a woman to me. We'd like to present Miss Naoto with her award now, but she ain't here. It looks like she stepped outside. And no, we'll never hear from her again. She has moved she far won, away. Even though she dropped out of the last part. That's how it works, y'all. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Naoto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well. Wow, Riese, nice backhanded compliment. I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, Senpai. Fair enough. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant? Uh, very easily, clearly. <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm just covering this entire thing with my microphone. I can't even see the TV right now. <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> well, at least the two of them seem to have made a friend in each other. They've got that going for them. Please make this stop. Okay. I saw that transition. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for finally letting this be over. <laughs> oh my god. The writers made a concentrated effort to make that the most awkward endeavor I've ever been through in my entire life. Uh, 